designed with the same philosophy as the Russian boomerang armor personnel carrier. The VP-10 is optimal in terms of performance and complete functional equipment. It is provided with modular functional components that allow custom configuration to suit customer requirements. VP-10 8x8 wear armor vehicle features lightweight, compact structure, high level protection, large bearing capacity, and good tactical and strategic mobility as well. Adopting major techniques and components to a great extent, this ammo vehicle is highly reliable and easy to maintain. The VP-10, first seen in 2014 and first officially revealed in 2015, is China's most recent wear APC entry into the export market. As of now, the VP-10 has not received any official orders. In addition to being put on service in the Chinese army, the new armor vehicle is due to be supplied to African and Latin American countries. The vehicle features an 8x8 configuration and amphibious capabilities, allowing it to be a viable troop transport in most conditions. On water, it is propelled by two water jets. Amphibious speed on water is 8 km per hour. Compared to the VN-1, another one of China's export APCs, the VP-10 is an overall smaller a lighter vehicle with a weaker engine and worse armor. However, likely due to the lighter weight, the VP-10 speed is faster. Like most Chinese export APCs, a myriad of armament options are available, allowing a customer to purchase a vehicle tailored to their specific needs. One of these options is a 30mm dual-fit autocannon mounted in the UW-4A remote control weapon station. The nature of this weapon station allows the VP-10 to effectively engage lightly armored targets and low-flying helicopters, as it is equipped with an automatic tracking function. A thermal imager and lasering fighter are mounted on the right side of the stabilized 30mm autocannon. The UW-4A remote weapon station is a medium-sized top-mounted remote weapon station. Equipped with a 30mm chain cannon, the system features high accuracy, high reliability, and adjustable firing rate. It can effectively attack light ammo vehicles and infantry fighting vehicles, destroy enemies firing points, and effective forces. For its advanced fire control system with auto-tracking function, this remote weapon station may confront the rate of attack helicopters. The UW-4A remote weapon station can be mounted on top of ammo vehicle, with the operator sitting inside for better survivability and comfort. Moreover, via data radio and video set, the remote weapon station can also be used in unmanned platform to carry out long-term remote control operations such as border surveillance and control, etc. Only two crew members are required to operate the vehicle in its fullest capacity. As an APC, the VP-10 can accommodate up to 12 fully equipped troops. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via rear-powered operated ramp with integral doors. Emergency exit is via roof hatches. There are some vision blocks provided for troops. VP-10 is protected from 12.7mm fire from the front 
and 7.62 mm fire from the sides and rear. Add-on armor kit can be fitted for a high level of protection. So even though the VP-10 resembles Patria AMV, which is one of the most protected APCs in the world, its protection is actually rather poor. In terms of protection, the VP-10 loses to most modern armor personnel carriers. The VP-10 is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 362 horsepower. Engine is mated to an automatic transmission. Vehicle is fitted with a center tire inflation system. However, cross-country mobility of the VP-10 is rather humble due to limited suspension travel. The vehicle can reach a maximum speed of 105 km per hour and a range of 800 km. The new Chinese armor vehicle is expected to be equipped with different types of combat modules. Other variants include anti-tank missile launching vehicle, surface-to-air missile launching vehicle, as well as command post or a communication support vehicle. In order to develop existing platform and attract new potential buyers, China has developed and introduced the CSAA-5 combat module equipped with a 40mm automatic cannon. It is a relatively large turret with all the necessary equipment and weapons designed for installation on existing and prospective models of ammo vehicles. The product is proposed to be mounted on the roof of the base machine body and connected to some equipment installed inside. For observation of the terrain and guidance of weapons, the combat module of the new tap received an advanced optical electronic equipment complex. The fire support vehicle armed with a 105mm rifle gun was first publicly revealed in 2016. This combat vehicle was designed to provide direct fire against hostile ammo vehicles, buildings and field fortifications. It also has a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Despite heavier turret, it looks like this ammo vehicle retains its amphibious capability.